Looney Farm Guy here, and in this video, we'll be looking at the farm Cow Barns by Chumpy Farmer. This is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this test, and these is this is a pack of two cow barns. This is 85.4 megabytes to download. Yes, fairly hefty on the download. Uh, we will find it under animals and cows, uh, the 250 cow barn. I got snapping on, so snapping off, it rotates like this. Uh, $125,000, $100 per day uh, upkeep. You can't change the color or anything. Uh, the other one is $200,000 with 550 capacity and it is also a hundred dollars uh, a day upkeep now capacities capacities for the 250 cow barn is a uh, 750,000 no yeah 750,000 liters of food and straw capacity is 450,000 liters uh, if we go over here, I have some straw. It does not accept straw bales. I could not get it to accept straw bales. It will accept grass and hay in this area here. Uh, so all these doors open and close. Oh, there we go. Open gate, close gate. Uh, open gate. Uh, but there's nothing that actually goes in here. So... I mean, it's a little bit of role play if you want. But all the food and straw goes right here. And it has a very large, generous trigger, as you will see here as we drive forward. So the trigger lights up here. And it goes from here all the way over to here. So if you have a big tipping type trailer, and you're probably going to need something with a lot of capacity with uh, 750,000 liters of straw. So, lights automatic. Lights turn on at uh, 7 p. Where is it says in the com in the description? Lights come on at 6 p.m. and turn off at 8 a.m. So, automatic lighting. The trigger or the animal um, dealer spot is here. That opens as well. Again, you can open this like so. So the, the both of these are nearly identical except for size. And well, we will talk about operation in a moment. We're still talking about capacities and where stuff goes in. So there's this, this particular set of cow barns. Um, so straw goes in here as well. There we go. Just like that, straw and food alike. Now let's talk about the large one for a moment. The large one uh, straw capacity here, straw capacity is 750,000 liters, and the food capacity, <coughs> excuse me, food capacity is three million liters. Now you notice it's gone down. I I've been testing this for several months actually because I've been trying to get things to work and um, because you might notice that it doesn't have any slurry or milk triggers however it does say it has milk and slurry inside uh, as you can see now normally uh, most cow barns don't have a manure you put down the manure um, silo which is found under buildings and silos here it is the manure heap so you place this close in this case i put it here as you can see oh now it disappeared no here it is again as you can see it has collected an enormous amount of manure so that's good that one's working these barns do not come with a slurry or milk um output you have to place one down yourself um so in this case, 
Uh, it doesn't recommend any specific ones, but uh, I would recommend this one. This is the Liquid Silo by Omatana. I will, um, these you're going to find, uh, I will show you what they look like in here. Here is what it looks like, uh, 5 million liter capacity. Uh, it holds everything. So what you need to do for this to work on the large barn is you place a silo extension this is the only way it'll work that i've that i've found so silo extension you have to put down a si liquid silo extension or a milk extension or something like that in this case it's the liquid silo extension by omatana place that down and it, it will it will place down because it's recognizing the barn as a, something that holds capacity. So you do need something other than that because there's no way to get it out of there. You need a silo to get a note, a trigger, an unload trigger. So that's where you put the liquid silo down with the trigger as you can see here now we have a trigger put the liquid silo down beside it and if we hop into our tanker now you can see if we look at it it says liquid silo there's 600,000 liters of slurry and 337,500 liters of milk and if we look over here yes it's the same over here the bottom 600,000 liters milk so if we go up here Right, milk 300. So notice the capacity is like woo because it's reading off of these 5 million liter silos. And as we pull up here, we should be able to diesel water milk. There it is, milk and slurry. So, milk, fill it up. There it is, we're filling up. So, now you can use this as also a silo to hold other things and it will capture your milk. Now, Let's put that back in because there's a problem. If we go over to the smaller 250 uh, cow barn, it's saying I got slurry and milk in here. Um, however, I've tried three different places for this manure heap extension and I still cannot collect any manure. We have straw. Straw has gone down. It says it's milk and slurry. That's very suspicious that it says milk and slurry at the exact same amounts. I wonder if it's a tad close. I wonder if it's catching. That's quite po I tried. I thought I put it far enough away. That's very odd because these don't have any in them and I've set them down here. You would think these would have captured it. Something odd is going on here. I'm not sure. Um, I might test this one by itself, which is actually what I'm going to do now because this one is not working. The manure is not catching here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete that cow barn because we know this the the large one here is working uh it's captured manure way over there it's captured the slurry and so everything here is working as far as i know and i thought that was far away enough that it's not going to connect but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sell this cow barn and sell the, the sell the tanks, the cow barns, sell the manure heap, everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this out, and we're going to see if uh, that one works. Maybe there's some kind of conflict or something like that. So I'm gonna come back in. When we come back in, this will all be gone, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run that smaller one and see if we could get that one to work. All right, so we have cleared out the other barn and yes indeed uh, my uh, my hunch was correct now we are collecting slurry and milk and if we hop over to the other side here and look at our manure pen we have manure collecting now 
in the silo. So same thing here. Once you put down your uh, barn, straw and food go in here. You place your extension, liquid extension, whether it's a milk or slurry. I recommend the liquid silo by Omatana. So here we go. We got slurry and milk now collecting in this. For some reason, I, th uh, yeah, having two of them on the same map, eh, there's some kind of, there's our milk and slurry. Slurry is loading here now. So yeah, for some reason we have a conflict with uh, the small and large one, even though the large one was quite a ways away. Something was going on preventing this one from Either it was sending it to the other one, I, something weird. Anyways, so if you're having an issue like that, mm, um, that's, I almost gonna say that you can only have one at a time on your farm. I'm not too sure, but anyways, that is the results of my test of this. This is, uh, this as, yeah, so there you go. That's Farm Cow Barns by Chumpy Farmer. 85.4 megabytes to download, 21 and 24 slots. Sorry, I didn't mention that. 21 and 24 slots on console. You need to place a manure silo and something to catch the milk and the slurry. I recommend the liquid silo by Omatana. And there you have it. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.